When Richard DeMarkey arrived at pharmaceutical giant Eli Lilly in 1981, he helped company scientists harness bacteria as protein factories to make the first mass-produced synthetic insulin. The non-scientist thinks of protein as, as foods. I, as a chemist, uh, think of them as, as large molecules. But to me, these, this is nature's medicine. This huge step forward ensured diabetics' insulin supply, but it didn't solve the key problem with insulin. When insulin is injected into the blood, it clumps into tiny molecular balls, delaying the insulin's ability to digest glucose. The result for a diabetic can be a life-threatening roller coaster of high and then low blood sugar levels. What I began to envision was the ability to optimize the molecule. DeMarkey proposed an idea many others saw as impossible or even dangerous chemically engineer a version of the insulin molecule ideally suited for injection. DeMarkey led three veteran Eli Lilly colleagues in imagining how to create a better medical insulin by switching the positions of just two of the insulin's amino acid building blocks. When we took that inversion into insulin, we found that it changed insulin's physical properties, but not its biological properties. Their patent for a non-clumping, fast-acting insulin analog was the first step in a race by hundreds of Eli Lilly technicians and scientists to turn the invention into a product. We knew if we were to fail for any reason, we would just deepen the conviction that this was a dangerous thing to do. Humalog is the first FDA-approved protein analog for medical use, and its safe and more precise glucose control has enormously improved the lives of millions of diabetics worldwide. DeMarkey had co-invented more than a billion dollar a year blockbuster drug. With this and dozens of subsequent patents, he'd invented the field of protein medicinal chemistry. So within one generation, we've completely transformed the way these drugs are used as medicine.